Hi everybody, this is Joni. Um, I can't sleep and so um, I'm feeling a little better today so um, I decided I would come on and show you guys this um, bead storage that I purchased from Michaels. Now I've never seen it in the store but I've been, you know, I'm I moved my craft room into another room. So I've been watching tons and tons of orga organizational videos. And um, I did see one gal using this and she said that she would highly recommend it. And um, you could use it for a lot of different things. If you see here, you buy these, um, these little containers and like this is enough for one row. It comes with um, one, two, three, four, five, six rows. So this could be one row. These are large. These are small. So this is one row and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight in that row. Or you could get the medium size ones that come with one, two, three, four, five. And um, I'm pretty sure everything was um, bought separately. So I did buy um, each of the containers. So I'll show you what it looks like. So you know what, I'm just gonna redirect the camera down. That's better. So, um, that's what it looks like. And so these are your two locking mechanisms. And you just remove this clear cover. And so this is the small. And they open, they come with these little ridges here. So you can get them out easier. If you see what I mean this little ridge and they go in this way um, kind of you know the longest width size so um, there's a snap right here and you just um, unsnap it and pull it open and then to put it back you snap it closed watch where you put the thumb size put that facing you and back in so um so <laughs> did i put it in right no i didn't <laughs> that's the way it goes okay so this is the medium size let's compare it to the small so oh, sorry i was out of frame the medium size you know might be um suitable for like maybe buttons or something. This might be good for sequins because that's what I had in mind, sequins. Or um, this would be good for maybe seed beads. Um, you know, something small. Um, you know, pieces of jewelry. This is um, the large size. I don't think I'll get any more of th this size. Looks like it's about the size of a Tic Tac box, but wider. And... Um, so there's three of these go in a row. So that eats up a lot of your space in the rows. Um, so, you know, and it opens up the same way. It's got the little piece there. You just pull that open and then push it shut. And then you put it back in with this side facing up and it fits in nicely. So, um, yeah, the girl who I watched, um, she highly recommended, came highly recommended by her. This is uh, the medium, and this is the small. And, you know, so I have lots of room to grow. I'm going to tomorrow go through my sequins and put them in here. And it looks pretty safe, like nothing will open up on you. Um, and 
you know, it's compact. It's just, it's big, you know, it's like a tray size, but it's not, um, but it's not thick, you know, that's a little over an inch thick. Let me see if I can get you the dimensions on here. Oh, 13.75 inches. So that is this way um, by 10 inch, 10.5 inches, which is this way. And it's 1.75 inches um, in depth. So, um, and in the picture here, it shows you different things they're using, you know, jewelry pieces and um, beads. And, you know, I, I really had it in mind for sequins because I'm starting to build up my sequence collection. So I would use the little ones for that. I do have some jewelry pieces that I've been getting from the thrift store. So they may, may go in here, you know, like um, brooches and um, earrings, you know, like interesting earrings, a lot of clip-ons at the uh, thrift store. I guess a lot of the old ladies um, wore their clip-ons. But, you know, you can use them to embellish a flower. You know, it could be the center of a flower and really pretty. Um, you know, you could put like little pearls in here or, um, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, in case you hadn't seen this, because I hadn't before I watched that video, and um, I've, I think you can only purchase this online. So... I don't believe you will see this in uh, Michael's store, um, but it is on their website, and it's called Bead Storage Solution Bead Storage Tray, and um, I don't remember the price, but I think in all, because every you know the tray was sold separate from the containers. I think in all I paid less than $30 um, with a coupon um, for the tray and these three. So I only have in here half the amount that it's capable of storing. So um, I will purchase the other three trays, but I think I'll probably get you know them in combinations of these, not so much the large ones. But, um, so that, that was my, um, storage solution share for you today. And if I come up with anything else that's really good, um, you know, as I'm kind of putting my craft room back together in the new room, I'll, uh, I'll show you, you know, just to, uh, pass it along and give somebody else, you know, who's in my position maybe a little newer at crafting than me, um, some ideas. So um, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, if you would give me a thumbs up. If you um, would like to see more videos like this, comment down below. And until um, next time, bye.